What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Crypto Airborne in the house dropping you guys the latest and greatest cryptocurrency news and updates. Today's May 30th, 2024. In today's video, we'll be doing a crypto market overview followed by Bitcoin talk. Is Bitcoin finally about to take off? Got some good things I want to show you guys. And then last but not least, we've got CKB and Nervos Network. We got some news, some hot updates from them. And then finally, a giveaway for them. You guess that it's interesting? Stick around and I'll tell you all about it. All right, everyone, hopefully you're all having a great day. Good morning, good night, wherever you are in the world. I know it's been a hot minute since my last upload. Man, I think it's been about well over a month. The market's just been so boring right now. I know we had the halving back on April 20th, and it's still just kind of been going sideways, dipped a little bit. But I got some interesting things I want to share with you guys, some Bitcoin charts, just showing you that we are just in the very beginning stages of this bull run. Are you mentally prepared? Last but not least, we got some CKB Nervos Network news and updates and a giveaway going along with CKB Nervos Network. So stick around to the end and I'll share with you guys all about that. All right, so let's just jump into it right now. If you guys don't mind smashing that thumbs up button on your way in, consider subscribing if you aren't and turn on the bell notifications so you get notified as soon as I upload a video Easiest thing you guys can do to help support my channel. Also, if you want to skip to whatever section of this video, I do put timestamps in every single one of my videos, put them throughout the video, and also put it in the pinned comment section down below. All right, so last 24 hours, the market's been pretty neutral. We're only up about 0.14% the last 24 hours. We got Bitcoin up about 1.12%, sitting at $68,367. We got Ethereum down about 0.69%, sitting at $3,747. We got Solana's down a little bit, sitting at $166.52. And Cardano down about 1.26% at $0.45. Cents. Let's take a look at the top gainers the last 24 hours. We got Jasmine up about 20.2% the last 24 hours, sitting just over $0.03. Cents. We got Math up about 10.35%, sitting at $0.42. Cents. And Arweave up about 10.17%, sitting at $43.70. Top losers the last 24 hours. We got Shadow Token down about 11.55%, sitting at 44 cents. We got TrueFi down about 11.44%, sitting at 19 cents. And we got Dog with Hat, Solana Meme Coin down about 10.59%, sitting at $3.39. Man, the meme coins are just insane. Uh, Dog with Hat, you know, I haven't, I don't dabble in Solana at all. I know there's a lot of big money making meme coins on that blockchain. And I think there's one that I just saw recently just called Dog. I think it's on Bitcoin, and it's just been booming, pumping lately, but I haven't really looked into it. I just remember seeing a bunch of stuff on X, people talking about it. All right, so today is May 30th, 2024. We got some holidays going on. National E-Bike Day. We got National Mint Julep Day, Corpus Christi. We got International Hug Your Cat Day, National Creativity Day, uh, National Hole in My Bucket Day, and a couple other random holidays for May 30th. Take a look at famous birthdays we have for May 30th. We have Theo McCoy, Remy Ma, uh, and that's it. I've never heard of these other people. So, yeah, who cares? All right, Fear and Greed Index right now. We're currently looking at a 73 Greed. Yesterday, we were at a 73 Greed. Last week, we were in Greed. But last month, we were in Neutral Territory. All my videos, I always say, be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful. All right, crypto bubbles top 100 right now. Again, market's been pretty neutral. Kind of looks more red here with a couple top gainers, Jasmine, Knot, uh, Arweave, and uh, Ordy. That's Ordinals, uh, up about 17.9%. Let's take a look at my favorites. I think this is the day. Yeah, last day, we got Monero up about 4.6%. Bitcoin's up 1%. Litecoin's up 0.7%. And the rest of my favorites all down the last 24 hours. The week, though, CKB doing pretty well, up about 3.6%. And on the monthly, we got everything has been green, except CKB, you know, pumped up pretty good above 12 or 3 cents over the last uh, month or so, uh, down about 8%. So if it comes up so fast, it's going to dip a little bit. You know, it's extremely healthy. But I do have a pattern I want to share you guys that we're currently breaking out of, which is pretty good. But stay tuned for that one. Traditional markets, the futures, looks like futures inch lower as investors are reviewing earnings, and it looks like there's going to be an inflation report tomorrow, so maybe they're just dumping a little bit. Um, who knows kind of uh, what's going to happen with that. 
All right, DXY, currently looking at a 104.7, and I always look at this in all my videos as well, kind of as just a little tool. Whenever the DXY is up, that's when crypto traditional markets are down and vice versa. So it looks like this is the four-hour chart, the last you know 12 hours that's been down, but markets pretty much have been neutral. Stock markets were down, uh, and uh, crypto pretty much stayed neutral. So not always the case, but just you know one of those tools I always look at. And I do believe for the last bull run, if you go all the way back, you can see uh, when the DXY is low, that's when the whole crypto bull market kind of took off. But we're still kind of just been trading sideways, neutral. Um, let's just take a look real quick, just kind of like what I've been talking about. Uh, if you go all the way back to like the last bull run, back in like 2020, 2021, you can see that the DXY was around that 89 to 100 so if we dip back down on like this territory you definitely know that people are moving their money out of the dollar and investing into cryptocurrency and bitcoin but pretty much since around june 2022 we're at that 101 we spiked up kind of been going sideways um i don't know what kind of pattern i'm looking at right now just kind of looks like it's been trading in like a channel uh but if it looks like we are breaking through this ichimoku cloud at least here in the daily and man, if we break, it looks like there's a strong support right here at 101. We dip down from that, you know, 101 down to the 89 territory over the next year, year and a half. That could be a good indicator that the crypto bull run is starting to take off. Total crypto market cap. So it looks like we're at about $2.46 trillion right now. Um, I did have something pulled up here. I uh, wanted to take a look at, but when you zoom out, when in doubt, zoom out the four hour chart, you can kind of see we got a bull flag going on right now that we are breaking out of on the total crypto market cap. So we did break out of that bull flag around May 20th, 2024, which so is about 10 days ago. It looks like we've been just kind of been trading sideways and hoping that this trend line here is going to be nice little resistance about the $2.41 trillion, uh, you know, market cap for the total crypto market cap. That's kind of what I'm seeing. It looks like the RSI, though, is kind of neutral right now. Again, day's been neutral come going into the weekend, so markets might stay neutral going into the weekend. All right, so let's talk about Bitcoin. So Bitcoin, the last 24 hours, up about 1%, sitting at $68,308, looking at a $1.3 trillion market cap with a trading volume of about $28 billion. So just kind of looking at the chart, some quick TA. Obviously, this looks similar to the total crypto market cap. We got a bull flag that's uh, about to play out potentially. You guys can see it's been bouncing in and out of this flag right now. We just kind of touched it, went above it a little bit back here on May 20th, went back down, dipped down to 66,000 around May 24th. Now we're coming back up. We broke through it a little bit if you zoom in. Uh, and it kind of looks like at least here in the four-hour chart, we got uh, just auto fit this real quick but it looks like we have an indecision candle so we may go up may go down looks like we are far, a little bit far away from this ichimoku cloud with a thin area here leading into tomorrow so maybe we'll bust through and break through this trend line of this bull flag this is currently looking at about sixty nine thousand four hundred. so if we can get above that i would consider you know we're in a bullish movement bullish pattern in this bull flag that we've had uh been going on since around march 5th of 2024 is a bullish case scenario, which leads me to my next tab. And just, I'm a visual person. I like to keep things stupid simple on my channel. And Bitcoin bull run is just beginning. Now, here's some patterns. Here's a couple of tweets I want to share with you guys that where we currently are at and that over the next 500 days, are you mentally prepared? So this is just kind of a diagram here that this person is predicting but if you just go back in history, history tends to repeat itself. You can look back here, back in 2016, right here when we had the halving, uh, right when we had it, it was kind of equivalent to the last top that we had stayed. We were just under it. We didn't quite break above it, but right after the halving, we dipped here 500 days to the top. We had the halving here, uh, the last bull run that we had back in I believe it was like April, May of 2020, right when we had that, you can kind of see it, it kind of just goes right below the 2017 high. Uh, we did kind of break above it in this middle, of this bull run back in, this was like 2019, I think we kind of broke out and we had the COVID crash, but right when we had the halving, we dipped down a little bit, went up and then boom, 500 days of bullishness. 
we had that first top around 68,000, I think, and then we had the double top for the last bull run. Bear market just recently last month had the uh, Bitcoin halving. We are currently right here where we did actually break above the previous all-time high. So we could trade sideways a little bit, but man, are you mentally prepared? This guy's saying, hey, 300,000 is the Bitcoin top right here, but hey, the next 500 days could get intense. So just one of these visual patterns for you guys to look at. Next thing I'm looking at, it's so obvious you just need some patience. So again, this guy's kind of looking at the halving here. Boom, three rockets up, halving sideways a little bit, three rockets up. We got, uh, bam, right here where we had the halving, kind of have this three run or three rockets, 500 days. We're in this square uh, rectangle, whatever you want to call it territory right now next 500 days could get crazy so just another visual for you guys to look at one more visual when history tends to repeat itself again are you mentally prepared you guys can see back in 2018 bear 2019 pre-bull 2020 was the bull run and then 2021 was the huge bull Currently, we're in the bull, the bear market the last you know couple years, 2022 bear market, 2023 pre-bull. Right now, we are in a bull run. And then he's saying 2025 is kind of like where we're going to top uh, out. You can see here, 2021 was the first peak we had. So man, maybe you know the first couple months of 2025, that's what we potentially could uh, make a prediction for it topping out. But again, if you look at the past, uh, the past bull run, we did have a double top leading all the way into November of 2021. Not sure if that's going to happen because you can look at the last two bull cycles. Basically, that if, if it repeats the 2013-2017 bull cycle, we could see uh, you know, a top all the way out to 2025. You know, we may, may or may not. Nobody knows at this point. All speculation. This is not financial advice at all. So just something to think about when you look at patterns, you look at charts. You know, a lot of other things that take in consideration with macroeconomics. We got an election coming up. Usually a lot of markets tend to pump into that. So, hey, we might pump into, uh, the you know, the election season, have a little cool off before 2025, just kind of like massive, uh, huge bull. You know, just something to take a look at. Here's something I found interesting, guys. Now, this, I believe, is in Guatemala. This guy's name is Eliezer, Eliezer, but he's using vegetable oil to power his Bitcoin miners for his community. It looks like he has some type of like generator here. He's powering it with used vegetable oil. And this oil is used to be thrown in the lake, but is now turned into roughly $300 a month in Bitcoin for his community. It's more than half of an average monthly wage in Guatemala. Lago Bitcoin aims to create a circular economy powered by Bitcoin in Panajachel, Guatemala. My Spanish sucks, but approximately 60% of the adult population in Guatemala doesn't have access to formal financial services. So again, this is another company or another country in Central America, South America, just because they're uh, you know very poor countries. They're looking for an alternative solution to gain financial wealth for themselves and their communities, and you know they're using used vegetable oil. To do so, it's free. Absolutely insane. So you may think $300 a month is nothing, but that is way more than the normal salary for a person in Guatemala. So I thought that was a real interesting uh, tweet. All right, so the full debit card. Uh, this is one of my favorite debit cards to get you know, cash back in Bitcoin. Or every time you purchase something, you get sats back. They have gift cards to a whole bunch of different... Uh, shopping places, Target, they got merchant boosts, gift cards, whatever, and you get a certain percentage back. Shameless plug, if you guys are interested in that, uh, t there's a link down in my description below if you guys want to help support me in the channel. But there was a Bitcoin Magazine talk with Fold CEO Will Reeves. Uh, there was about 1.5 thousand people that tuned in earlier today, about 52 minutes long. Again, I like to keep things stupid simple. If you don't want to listen to it, I reached out to my buddy Obi-Wan Ryan. He gave me a quick summary of some upcoming features for the full debit card. So shout out to Obi-Wan Ryan's GR8. Go give him a follow. He said that 
It was pretty good. Sounds like they're white labeling some of the functionality to other businesses in different jurisdictions. They're working on the ability to split direct deposits between Bitcoin and USD, joint accounts, multiple cards, using Bitcoin as collateral for lending, transferring Bitcoin to fold to make living on a Bitcoin standard easier versus only using rewards or buying Bitcoin on their platform. So they kind of want to make it a one-stop shop uh, type of Bitcoin standard by just using the Fold app. There's a lot of different features coming up. I do believe uh, there's not every state has Fold. Uh, I think in Texas, the word on the street is late summer and you'll be able to have access to the Fold debit card. But uh, I've been using it for the last couple of years and I love it. So they say everything eventually is going to become free is kind of the motto because all these sets back that you're earning uh, using USD, using fiat, the price of Bitcoin goes a half a million, a million, all the stuff that you've been accumulating. And they did just recently send uh, me something with they have a roundups thing where you can kind of do a 2x, 3x, 4x of whatever purchase up to the nearest dollar and they multiply that. And then you do an automatic Bitcoin purchase that uh, I had like over 100 some thousand sats this past week, just automatic, you know, uh, DCAing just from everyday purchases, auto, auto, automatically purchasing Bitcoin. So again, if you guys are interested in the Fold card, there's a link, referral link. You think you get like 5,000 sats for signing up and stuff like that. But check it out. Highly recommend it. All right, so jumping into the next topic of discussion, one of my favorite altcoins is CKB Nervos Network. Currently looking at number 135 on the charts on CoinGecko. Where market cap is about 710 million, trading volume about 36 million dollars the last 24 hours. So CKB Nervous Network, I've been following this since it was introduced on the Voyager app. Uh, I believe this is way back in February of 2020. It's February 2020 or February 2021. Don't quote me on that, but uh, I'd made a TikTok on it, and uh, I, you know I just started looking into it and. Love it. Most recently, their big thing, why they kind of blew up was their RGB++ Layer 2 solution uh, for Bitcoin right now. So check that out. We're going to get into a couple other things on that. But right now, price action, you know, we did spike all the way up to about 0 0.037 cents before coming back down right now. We've been in a massive falling wedge uh, if you don't include this kind of spike that we had. But looks like we're breaking out of this falling wedge right now, and hopefully we're using this top trend line of this falling wedge as a nice support. This is at least on the four-hour time frame, so great time to accumulate right now. Not financial advice, but uh, I see a lot of positive good things for CKB and Nervos Network. So there was a big proposal put out to, uh, to the Nervos Talk Forum. This is going to be introducing the RWA lending protocol called Palmera to come to CKB currently on the Ergo and Cardano. And we'll look to use elements of CKB such as uh, DidBased, which is a decentralized identity protocol on the on Bitcoin uh, and RGB++ capabilities to expand DeFi ecosystem on Nervos. There's a huge, long proposal. The whole community is talking about it. Uh, they want to try to eventually get it done by the quarter four project of this year. It'll make possible to market RGB++ as a solution that brings RWA loan opportunities to Bitcoin. It's going to streamline global supply chains, provide loans, enhance financial inclusion using blockchain technology. So I'm not going to go through the entire thing, but here is the entire proposal. The grant they want to use is about $100,000, currently about, about 6 million CKB. Giant introduction, talking about what it is, what the current status is. The leadership team is the CEO, Dan Friedman. He's a seasoned technologist and part of the founding team that launched the Cardano blockchain. So someone who launched the Cardano blockchain is leading this proposal, along with a, a bunch of other uh, you know, well-known people in the cryptocurrency industry. Again, I'm not going to get into all this, but it gets in the technical team, some of the key benefits for Nervos. Uh, utilization of the Nervos DAO liquidity creates opportunities for 200 million deposits in the Nervos DAO with the release of ICKB within the next few months. So, man, it's it gets pretty deep. I'm not going to go through the whole thing. You guys can see here. Uh, it probably takes a couple minutes to read, but I'm highly interested in it. I think I think it sounds like a good thing. Bring more people to CKB Nervos Network, more exposure, all that type of stuff. Check that out. Next thing is, let's get a little, let's, gets a little bit too techy for me, and that's a criticism of CKB Nervos Network is to, you know, try to make it a lot easier for normies to understand like me or people who like simple things. But this is a little bit more tech-related. 
Uh, but if you've been to crypto for a while, you've probably heard of UTXO Stack. This is going to be introducing it as for a Bitcoin native extension. What sets the UTXO stack apart is layer one programmability, Turing complete capability with RGB++ protocol, and layer two scalability, a one-click deployment of UTXO-based app chain. Let's build for the future of Bitcoin. So again, you guys can pause it and just take a look kind of at this diagram here if you guys are interested in learning a bit more. But again, for me, I like to keep things stupid simple. I don't know really know the tech explanation of this, but for me, this is bullish stuff, bringing more awareness in uh, usage to the CKB Nervous Network blockchain. Uh, another thing, CKB Nervous Network is currently at Bitcoin Soul in 2024. They're at boost 30 and 31. So if you guys are in South Korea, go check them out. They also are going to be having a meetup tomorrow, May 31st, between 1600 and 2130. It's probably May 31st over there right now. I don't know what the time is, but it's uh, on the third floor of this Millum Tower. Celebration of the CKB community, opportunity in, for industry networking. Again, I just re recently went to a Philly NFT uh, Bitcoin pizza event, which was cool. All these re in real life events are awesome just to network and to be on people, be, be around self-minded individuals. Uh, so go check that out if you guys are in South Korea. Let me know uh, if you go there and how it was in the comments below. Last but not least, I've got a couple of these Crypto One Key Classic hardware wallets that were given to me from CKB Nervos Network. Uh, I got one right here, actually, that I had been messing around a little bit. Uh, I haven't set it up yet. haven't really dove deep into it. There was a, I think you can use, a blue, use Bluetooth to connect it, but you need some type of USB-C. I didn't have it, so I had to get it, but... Uh, uh, may do a review on this on the future. I think Six Figs got one as well, or got a couple he's doing a giveaway. But I am going to be giving away two of these right now. Current price is about 89 USD. One thing I do want to note that I'm only going to be sh doing this contest, uh, giveaway, whatever, to the United States only. International, it just gets ex super expensive with shipping. And I know there's a lot of people international, CKB Nervous Network, but... Uh, if the bull run kicks off, you know, later in the year and I have a little bit more funds, uh, I'll do an international giveaway. Or maybe I'll just give away one now, give away one later. I'm not exactly sure, but what I want to do, uh, let me know in the comments if you guys want me to, to do that. But I am going to be giving away uh, two of those, keeping one for myself, you know, give back to the people. Uh, it does seem like something, you know, pretty nice to have, like a get. Uh, don't keep your crypto on centralized exchanges. Not your keys, not your crypto. Always use a non-custodial wallet or hardware wallet. This thing's ultra light, connected whenever and wherever you want. Extremely secure. Uh, perfectly compatible with most third-party softwares. Multi-chain support. Um, manage assets with multi-accounts. All-around protections. It's real simple. Anti-supply chain attack. So I'm not going to open it, but they just they wrap this thing up with all these different la like levels. So I'm not I'm not going to open it up and do it. I wouldn't even know how to do that to begin with, honestly. Um, but there's like you can read through the whole thing. Um, but yeah, it'll be safe, secure, brand new, uh, always security oriented, open source from day one. Build packages with freshest code. Again, this is the one key classic. Uh, OLED. It's very simple. It's not like one of the fancier ones they have that kind of like actually looks like an iPhone or has a full uh, LED display or whatever, IPS display, whatever the heck that is. So uh, if you're simple minded, it's real simple, at least from the setup uh, it, it looked like when I was messing around with it. So again, I'm going to be doing this giveaway. Smash that thumbs up button if you guys are interested in that. Let me know it in the comments if you guys want one. Uh, I'll try to come up with something on Twitter or X. So go give me a follow on there. You're definitely going to have to be following me on there if you guys want to be a part of this giveaway. Uh, yeah, smash that thumbs up button on your way out. Consider subscribing. If you aren't, turn on the bell notification so you guys get notified as soon as I upload a video. Easiest thing you guys can do to help support the channel. Give me that follow on X where I am the most active at crypto underscore airborne. And that's going to do it for me, guys. I know a little bit longer video than normal, but it's been a hot minute. I just wanted to give you guys a Bitcoin update, CKB Nervos Network. Uh, I know I'm, I'm in the Multiverse X and Internet Computer. Haven't really been you know, following them too much the last month or so. Again, the market's been real boring, but uh, I'm going to try to get back into it. Mart's going to pick up. Things are going to get exciting. Uh, I'm going to have a little bit more time. Uh, so I'll try to give you guys updates and keep you posted on everything. So again, going into the weekend. Tomorrow it's my birthday. I'm going to kind of lay low, 
Uh, maybe I'll go live. I don't know. I'll see how I feel tomorrow night with Six Figs. Uh, might be going to the Bitcoin conference in Nashville, uh, July 25th, 6th, 7th. I think it's like a three-day Thursday, Friday, or Friday, Saturday, Sunday thing. Uh, Six Figs, I believe, may be going. So opportunity, if you guys are going there, to meet up, hang out, meet in real life. Love doing that. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys are going to the Bitcoin conference. So that's going to do it for me, guys. Hopefully you enjoy your weekend, your night, your, night, your morning, wherever you are in the world. Stay safe out there. Crypto Airborne. Out.